Hey everyone, this is Ethan, and welcome back to another video. Today, as today, we're gonna be getting into some more Java. We're gonna be getting into math, crazy math. I don't know what the thumbnail says. I think it's gonna be crazy math. Uh, but yeah, let's get into crazy math. So let's make two integers. Integer, and then we're gonna call it one, and then integer, and we're gonna call this one two. Pretty simple integer names. Uh, so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do one, and we're gonna give it the value of six. So our, we are assigning our integers for the first time. And then we're going to give 2 and give it to the value of 3. Pretty, pretty simple. Now, let's do some math. So, 1 is going to be equal 1 times 2. However, it's going to be equal to our integers, 1 times 2. So, it's going to be 1 is going to be equal to 6 times 3. And if you recall 6 times 3, that's going to be equal to 18. So, integer 1 is going to be equal to 18. There we go. Now let's make, let's assign, or we're going to reassign integer 2, which is basically going to be 1 divided by 2. Now it's not going to be 6 divided by 2. Since we reassigned 1, it's going to be 18 divided by 2, which means this is going to be equal to 9. Let's make sure we have that equal signs there, so we are reassigning it. So when we print out 2, uh, the integer is named 2. Once we print that out, it's going to say, 9 because 18 divided by 2 is 9 so we just print it out when you reassign something that's gonna be like the latest version of something it's going java's gonna read the latest version of it when it does your code so that is how java works uh something else uh sorry <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna find the square root of integer 2 more mathematics so what we're gonna do is that in these parentheses we're gonna print out we're gonna do math.sqrt that's gonna be square root and then in here we could put a number we could put 64 or we could put uh 49 or 36 you know perfect cubes right there uh, however we're just gonna put a two so basically we're gonna be finding the square root of nine we could do 18 as well uh however it's gonna give us a decimal number and i don't want a decimal number we'll do something very simple so it's basically gonna be printing out the square root of integer 2, so the square root of 9. Now, if you know math, the square root of 9 is 3, which is also equal to 3.0, which is how Java is going to print it out. So there we go. We just wrote uh, the square root. We just printed out a square root. Pretty, pretty cool. Now let's get into some more math. So what we're going to do is that we're going to remove our square root in these parentheses we put in here. Uh, actually, we've got to put uh, what we're going to print in parentheses, our condition. And what we're going to do is some math. So we're going to do 1 over 2 times 2 plus 6 in these parentheses. I got to sneeze. Anyways, uh, so this is going to be, let's write a comment here. This is going to be 18 divided by 2, you know, 18 divided by 9 times 2 plus 6. It's going to be reading left to right. Uh, with multiplication division, then it'll do your addition and subtraction. So it's going to do 1 divided by 2, so that's going to be uh, 18 divided by 9, so it's going to be 2, then it's going to see multiplication, so 2 times 2 is 4, then it sees addition, 4 plus 6 is 10. So it's going to print out, let's run this bad boy, it is going to print out 10. So basically, it's just going to read left to right, it's going to do multiplication and division first, then addition and subtraction. Uh, I can type that. And it's just going to be reading from left to right, not right to left, left to right. That's how Java reads. Now, what we could do as well is that we could do 6 divided by 2. So it's going to do 18 divided by 2 times 2 plus 6 over 2. So it's going to do 18 divided by 2 times 2 plus 2. 3, because 6 divided by 2 is 3. It's going to do your multiplication and division first. We have addition here. However, it's going to do that after all multiplication and division is done. So when we print it out, you can do this math on paper. It's going to print out 7. Because 1 divided by 2 times 2 plus 6 divided by 2 is 7. Mathematics for you. <laughs> uh, because if we do 1 divided by 2 is 2 times 2 is 4. And then 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. So that is mathematics. It may seem confusing, but just keep doing it and you will understand it. Let's make a new integer. We're going to call it integer 3. Actually, we're going to give it a value. So we're going to do integer 3. 
is equal to, we're going to put integer in parentheses there, and then we're going to make a new set of parentheses. Now we're going to uh, form just a random number. So we're going to do math.random, and then we're going to put some parentheses there. And then we're going to put times 101, and then we'll close that. So math.random, two a set of parentheses, times 101, and then we'll close that parentheses. And then we'll finish the statement. And then what we're going to do is that we are just going to print out integer 3, which is basically just going to be a random number between 0 and 100. And it printed out 29. It's going to print out a random number between 0 and 100. So it's gonna, it says 101 here. How it's going to be 100? We did 102. Now it'd be 101. But if we did 101, then it's going to be 100. If we run it again, a very slow ch slim chance we'll get 29. See, now we got 49. We got a different number between 0 and 100. Uh, so something else we could do is we'll keep this integer here. We could just do math dot random here. And then it will print out a random number for us. However, it's not going to be a variable. It's just printing out a random number. There we go. You, you see, yeah, random number between 0 and 1. We didn't tell it it's minimum and maximum. We gave a maximum right here, uh, which is 100. However, it, this maximum and minimum is going to be 0 and 1. So it's not going to be greater than 1. It's not going to be less than 0. So it's not going to be a negative number. So there we go. We just did uh, random numbers. Pretty, pretty cool. Now let's make a new integer. We're going to give it, we're going to call it uh, 4. Actually, I'm going to put it up here where we just write the integer and create it. Now let's give it a value. So 4 is going to equal negative 4. So integer 4 is going to equal negative 4. Now what we're going to do is that we are going to do uh, we're going to print out math.abs. This stands for absolute. Then we're going to put a set of parentheses, and we're going to put our condition, which is going to be integer 4. So we're just going to type in 4, because that's the name of it. And then we will... Let's run this, so you can see what happens when we run it. It's going to equal 4, because absolute is going to give the positive version of a number if it's positive it's going to keep it positive it's if it's negative it's going to transfer it into a positive number since integer 4 equals negative 4 and we put this uh absolute here then it's going to change it into a positive 4 there's java for you all right let's do some more math now let's do some a little, one more crazy math thing so we'll do let's do 1 plus 2 no Actually, let's change the value of 4. So we're going to keep this negative 4 here. However, we're going to do 4 equals 1 plus 2 times 4. So it's going to be 18 plus 9 times 4. So it's going to be 27 times 4, which is... I don't even remember what that is. It's like... that's a, It's a big number, okay? Then we're going to do 3, integer 3 which is a random number. Let's let's not make that a random number anymore. Integer 3 is just going to equal 4 plus 6 minus 7. And then we're going to do integer 2 is going to equal 3 divided by 2. Hopefully this is a whole number. I didn't do this beforehand. It's just going to do 3 divided by 2. And then integer 1 is going to equal 2 times 2. Actually, we're going to do 2 times the number 2 minus, we'll do, let's do 4. There we go. And <laughs> let's print out integer 1. So we have some crazy math over here. I'm not even going to do this now. Let's just print it out and see what you get. We get zero. Wait, does it actually equal zero? No way that equals zero. That's actually very good luck if it equals zero. Let's remove that four here. Yeah, it does equal zero. Oh, that actually does equal zero. That's a very good coincidence. Uh, it does equal zero. That's that's crazy. That's actually very cool. Uh, so if we print it out integer uh, one with just two times two, it's equal negative 18. 
However, if we subtract 4, which is equal to positive 18 or something like that, <laughs> then it's going to equal 0. Uh, if we do su subtract minus 4, uh, let's see what we get. Yeah, we're going to get 0. Uh, we're going to get <laughs> 0 there. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is just experimenting with some crazy math, what we learned in the video, square roots, uh, absolute, random numbers, uh, the stuff we just did now with reassigning and, you know, all that stuff. Uh, if you guys want to join my Discord server to learn something new or to teach other people things, the link's in the description down below. If you guys want to watch more Java videos, I'm going to have a card about the video with my Java playlist. Subscribe and like the video. It really does help me out and it lets me create better content in the future. It gives me motivation. Other than that, I got nothing else for y'all, so adios.